morning. I thought today would be a good um, opportunity to show you the um, contents of my um, survival tin. At the moment I carry two survival tins, a small version for short hikes which I'll do a separate video on at a later date. But today um, I'll concentrate on my main kit. Um, this is the um, survival tin I carry with me in my um, jacket pocket whenever I'm hiking. and. Um, I thought I'd be, um, it'd be a good opportunity to, just to show you the um, contents of my kit. Um, if um, you're from the same generation as me and you grew up um, and got into um, prepping and survivalism back in the um, early or mid 1980s, you're probably aware of the um, SAS survival instructor by the name of John Wiseman. And um, John Wiseman instructed British soldiers and special forces in survival techniques and subsequently he wrote a couple of survival books um, this is my first the first one I bought um, the SAS survival handbook and he also did a urban survival handbook he also um, did a, um, a couple of um, TV shows back in the 1980s about survivalism and also wrote in um, various magazines Anyhow, the um, book influenced me back in the um, 1980s. I was in my mid-20s and just starting into to prepping. I had done survival um, tins before that. Um, back in the 1970s, I had um, been a Boy Scout and we did um, survival t um, kits for that. But um, at that time, it wasn't nothing very fancy. And in fact, everything I had basically fitted into a shoebox and it was basically made up of um, army sea rations. So it was only back in the um, mid 80s that I read the book here and I got influenced by um, John Wiseman's um, comments and advice. And in his book he went over um, the basic survival kits um, that the British Army, the British um, Special Forces at the time were using. And I basically um, based my kit on what he wrote at the time. I've moved on a little bit since then. Um, first of all, um, there's no medical supplies in here. I mean, I don't have any, except for a few band-aids, there's nothing of um, medical value in here as such. Um, basically, when I'm hiking, I carry a proper um, first aid kit with me. If I go on a short hike, I've got this green um, first aid kit here. And if I go on a normal day hike, I've got my um, life systems um, first aid um, pack here. So basically these are just um, some simple survival items um, which I carry with me. So first of all it's a um, two ounce tobacco tin that I use. Um, there's various dip different types of um, containers that people use and um, I see a lot of folk on YouTube with um, slightly bigger containers and what have you. Um, I like the two ounce um, tobacco um, tin size because it's it's thin. It's it's a nice size to carry in your jacket um, pocket when you're out hiking, and um, it's not too bulky. So it's a banged up tin. I've had this tin here for quite a number of years, um, but the um, contents have changed over time. So it usually has um, tape around it, which I've taken off today. But um, usually it's secured by um, tape, um, as you can see. It's not overfilled, it's not stuffed full that it's going to pop open or anything like that, but it's always um, good to just secure the edges with tape, um, just to make it a bit more watertight, even though the um, lid itself has a rubber seal on it. I polished the um, lid slightly to make it a little bit more reflective, so I use that as a signaling mirror instead of having a, a, a separate signaling mirror in the um, kit. Um, and I've also got two strikers for the uh, matches on the lid here. The first items in the um, kit, um, as you can see, are these two um, cotton pads which I use for um, kindling. These are just um, used by um, women to um, take off their uh, makeup in the evenings and they're just cotton gauze. Um, if you open them up you can see that quite fluffy on the inside and they catch fire quite easily um, with a flint striker um, so that's good for um, starting fire so I carry two of them here 
can also be used for cleaning if, if you have an injury or anything like that. Um, So the first item on top of the tin is a um, wire saw and it's just a um, basic uh, wire saw. So it's worth um, considering spending a few extra um, dollars or pounds or whatever just to get a, a good quality one. You get a lot of these um, made in China which are pretty um, dire quality. This is a good quality one made by um, a company that's actually no longer in business. Um, and if you take your time with these um, saws, if you don't overdo it, if you don't twist them when you're cutting or you're overheating the metal um, due to friction, they will survive quite easily. Um, it's If you twist them, if they overheat, that they tend to break. Um, you can use a um, get a log or something or a branch and make a, a bow saw with it, but I've never had any problems using the, this here as intended. Um, as long as, as I say, you don't twist the um, strands, um, there's less chance of it um, breaking. So that's useful, useful for cutting uh, small branches and what have you. I also carry um, a few safety pins. Um, if you tear a sleeve or a trouser um, or whatever, it's always a useful um, piece of um, kit to ki um, carry with you just to close something. Um, I've got a very tiny stub of a candle here just for fire starting if it's damp or what have you. That's a couple of minutes worth of um, flame here if you're trying to um, ignite some kindling. Um, I've got a, splint, uh, a flint and a um, striker um, for producing sparks. As I say, the sparks will ignite the um, the cotton fibers very um, quickly, very easily. Um, so that's there. And I've got matches here, just normal matches with their striker. Um, just a little bag of um, first used matches. A little sewing kit. Um, just um, a needle, some thread, um, another um, pin, a couple of buttons, just simple um, to these. Um, I've used these in the field before so they're always handy to have. Um, a tiny fishing kit, nothing fancy, it's just um, some fishing line, some sinkers. I've got three um, hooks in here and a um, plastic um, bait. Never used these in rivers um, but I have done a little bit of sea fishing with that and caught small fish so I mean it does work, I mean these things do work. Um, and they're a useful addition in your kit. I mean, I can't see myself using the actual fishing kit in the hills um, for fishing as such, but I mean, you can adapt it for catching birds and what have you in a um, survival situation. And it's always something useful to have anyhow. As I say, I don't carry any uh, medical supplies in here. The only thing I do carry is, uh, is just an alcohol swab in here and just a Band-Aid. Um, but the rest of my um, medical kit, tablets, um, anti-histamines, um, um, painkillers and everything else is kept in my proper um, first aid kit. I don't carry a flashlight in here. Um, I do carry a good quality candle and that's a couple of hours worth of light on this candle here. Um, the cheaper candles I find tend to um, burn down very quickly but these good quality ones um, tend to last a lot longer. I know some people um, may replace a candle with a tallow candle which means you can actually eat it but I find that the tallow um, gets soft quite easily, it melts very easily, it makes a mess in your kit so I never use tallow. So that's just a normal, um, that's my light, uh, my light source I guess. I don't have a container as such, um, but I do have a um, unlubricated condom here. Um, you put it into a sock and you can fill it up with water. Get about um, a liter, a couple of pints worth of water in here. Though I would never fill it all the way up to the top. Um, about a pint or half a liter of water is probably all I would use at any one time. But it's always something good to have. I always have a canteen or something with me anyhow. 
but um, I see a lot of people have bags and what have you in their kits and what and these kind of things but I've just got a little condom here got a whistle um, for emergency use for signaling I've got some snare wire um, I've never made snares I mean I've never cut an animal with a snare I know the um, basics behind it I'm um, finding a animal run disguising the um, smell of the of yourself from the snare by rubbing it in dirt or um, animal dirt anything like that but I've never used it but it's always a good thing to have just as extra cordage as I say I've got a, um, a good quality um, wire saw here and it comes with these um, finger loops so um, I do keep mine in here um, I've taken them off just to make it a little bit easier to store everything. Now another safety pin. I don't have any um, paracord in my kit but I do have this Kevlar um, string I guess you could call it um, and there's a good supply in here and it's quite strong and has a high, break, um, a high breaking point and that's good for making shelters and what have you. Um, so that's my cordage in here and because it's Kevlar it's a lot thinner than um, paracord but about the same strength if not more and you can wrap quite a long bit there's about 30 odd feet or whatever in here and it's all in a small um, space I do have a compass in here it's a little button compass and um, it does work um, it's not going to be useful for doing any um, proper um, map work but I'll give you a rough idea um, which way to go I mean you should always have a rough idea um, the direction for um, safety and um, what have you and that is just there for um, basic um, basic navigation I've got some more candles. These are small candles. They're one candle lasts about two minutes, um, and again, that's good for tin um, for fire making. So that's just um, some extra candles. I've got some proper um, safety matches. These are lifeboat matches. They um, work under water, or if they if they're wet and what have you, they'll last about twenty seconds, uh, no matter what condition weather you have. I mean, as I say. If it's damp, if they're wet, it'll still work. Um, so I've got a box of these here. And they live in a small um, matchbox. Now these things are pretty cool. Um, they're little chemical um, light sources. You snap them and it gives off um, a little light and it lasts for about um, five or six hours. So it's useful for nighttime. Um, just doing a little bit of uh, if you're needing a little bit of light at night time or you can stick it on something if you're going you know if you're leaving the campsite at night um, just to give you a guiding light to come back to um, they're actually quite bright um, for the um, size of them and um, take up no space at all so these are just little chem sticks got some water purification tablets here um, I've also got these two loops here which I, um, I use for the um, fishing kit. Um, if you take a big branch for example you can screw these into the branch here and just um, guide your um, your fishing string, um, your fishing line through the um, loops here and it just keeps everything nice and stable and um, secure. I've got some paper and again I've got a reflective surface for um, signaling but the in papers handy for um, keeping a note of things um, and for that purpose I also carry a, a pen stub a pencil stub even I do carry a knife I have got a um, German pocket knife it's um, stainless steel um, blade and it's, um, it's actually quite sharp um, so it's a proper cutting blade um, that's a useful addition to have it's, it's quite a thin knife 
so it fits in quite well and it's very useful to have I've used it quite often and um, it has a very good blade for doing general cam duties I've also got two um, razor blades just for the same thing but um, as I say I've got the knives so I've never really used them um, surgical blades and the other two things I carry is a, another needle with um, a length of thread in it if you got cold fingers or what have you it can be a little bit difficult to thread the uh, needle so it's always good to have um, just some needle and thread already handy to be used as required and I've got a pin here which is always useful for whatever um, purpose and that's all that's in my tin at the moment um, I've got no Gorilla tape in here or anything like that I have nothing fancy, no um, multi-tools, anything like that this is the um, kind of kit that I've used over the last um, 20 odd years for hiking and it served me well I've not had any um, complaints with any of these items um, I've replaced many of them over the years obviously um, for newer ones but um, I hope you found that of interest and maybe um, give you some ideas for your own kit and um, if you have any questions any suggestions anything like that um, just drop me a line 